Welcome back, bros, to day two of Breaking the Addiction. There is something about addictions that I think we all use to sort of self-medicate. You're filling in the blanks, the hard spots, the voids in your life. And I've noticed that around day two, this is when they begin to show their face. I've always actually, when I've tried quitting porn in the past, quitting nicotine in the past, day two was a victory for me because day one was the commitment part. It was the breakup. Day two is like, okay, I've made the decision. I'm going to play this game. Now you have to experience what life is really like. You're done self-medicating. You're done having something to do whenever you feel the little bit of boredom that shows its face in your life. Maybe you've been medicating yourself to get rid of the anxiety that you have. And you've used this as a crutch. See, on day two, that becomes apparent. That's when the withdrawal symptoms begin to show themselves. Now, if you're a heroin user, this is going to be extremely much more severe than someone that watches porn. Okay, there's different levels to this shit, guys, but I don't think a lot of you are addicted to heroin. I don't think a lot of you are into heavy drugs, but if you're trying to overcome something, realize that you're going to have to come face to face with the reality of life. But the beautiful thing about it is, is it's better to be sober. It's better to, to like be in this state that you were created to be in. And let me tell you, I know day two is fucking hard. I know that quitting is hard, but it's better. We're getting back on our purpose. We're rejuvenating our dopamine. We're going to have more motivation that when you feel like you're going to fail, when you feel like you need to go back and buy a pack of six, okay, think to yourself, why am I doing this in the first place? You're doing it because you know that it's going to make you a better man. You have to have a strong reason, guys. I'm so like, I'm so committed to embracing, breaking the addiction, monk mode philosophy, because I know that it's going to give us more motivation and being sober is just so much better but when you're high on a drug it doesn't seem that way you don't think to yourself oh hey being sober would be fucking great no because it's not you like getting high you like feeling that way because this isn't good enough so that's what we're experiencing yeah it's not always fun but it's better man it's made to be the best to be alive okay not like short circuiting getting in this illusion with a drug so I don't want to scare you guys away but day two there may be withdrawals but also as you go through these withdrawals and you experience this discomfort maybe a feeling of loneliness boredom anger can arise a lot of times we just use drugs because we're angry at the world and they suppress that anger maybe our friends maybe our family too much to deal with don't make it though more than it needs to be. Oh, I'm gonna go through so much withdrawal on day two. Don't think like that. Just take it as it is. Oh, day three's coming up. I'm gonna experience so much headaches and, and just this aching in my heart and depression. Don't think like that, all right? Just take it as it comes. Don't make it into something that it's not. Something more than it needs to be, okay? Day two, guys, we're breaking this addiction down, getting back on our life's purpose on our journey. If you haven't already, join the Facebook group. We're all there to help build each other up. And tomorrow's a new day. Let this day be victorious. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.